Goodbye, Paul McCartney fans. Mulligan Tire, oh, Mr. Rolling in from the sea. My desire is always to be here, oh, Mulligan Much have I seen Dark, distant mountains And valleys so green Past painted deserts The sun sets on fire As it carries me home To the Mulligan Tire special guest stars in a minute. Meanwhile, here's a new song that says simply this. <laughs> There's lasses that live by the sawway and lasses that live by the fall. There's lasses in Britain and Galway and lasses way up in the north. And maybe that Bonnie and Bob, no matter how bonny they be, it matters to me not at all. No, it matters to nothing to me. For I hear a lass on my Again, I 
Uh, what a great pleasure it is to introduce my very special guest to you. Would you give them the rich, warm welcome their talents so richly deserve? Let's hear it for E. Graham and Danny Finn.
Sorry, was it, eh? Mm. I've had a grand day myself, you know. Oh, yes, I was at the market today, the Met. Oh, I was. I like it there because you hear the crack, you know. There was two old farmers speaking to one another, and one says to the other, he says, tell me you didn't offer winning the football pools, pools dude. He says, no, the pools, the pools. He says, <laughs> <laughs> he says, I he says, how much did you win? He says, 500,000. Man, he says, pounds? Well, he says, it wasn't a dolly mixture. <laughs> <laughs> he says, what are you going to do? You going to buy yourself a big swanky motor car? Nah, nah, he says, I'm fine, please, with the one I've got. He says, you going to get yourself a new combine? He says, nah, nah, I'm fine, please, with the one I've got. He says, are you going to rebuild the steading? Nah, nah, he says, I'm fine, please, with the one I've got. Man, he says, what are you going to be doing? <laughs> what are you going to be doing with all that money? Oh, he says, I'll just keep on farming till it's our spent. <laughs> 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 I heard another, another oh, a lot, this was a grand, but there was a, this old farmer you see, and he was talking to his insurance agent, and they were discussing the farmer's shed, which had burned down, you see. And the insurance agent says, Don't you worry, he says, I'll send a squad of men along next week and we'll replace the whole building. The old farmer says, oh, Hold on a minute, he says, You mean to say you're not just going to pay me the money? No, no, he says. Our insurance firm doesn't believe in that. If something destroyed, we replace it exactly the way it was. And the old farmer scratched, he says, he says, well, would you mind cancelling the insurance on the wife? <laughs> <laughs> Times change, you know, and all uh, people uh, expect different standards. Now we have uh, we live out in the countryside, you know, and there's a little house next door to us, and the lady takes in bed and breakfast visitors, and she had a lady up from the south, from London there, and during the summer, and the lady came down in the first morning. She said to the proprietor, she or her hostess, she said, "I would like to uh, use the bathroom." And she said, well, that's it at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> and she was a bit scandalous, you know. <laughs> oh, she says, all the way down there. Oh, she says, yes, she'll be on you go. And she came back running. She went away down the bottom of the garden. And she came running into the house ten minutes later. And she was all flustered. She said, Mrs. Woman, she said, there's, there's not a lock on that door. She says, no, there's not a lock in that door. There hasn't been a lock in that door for 20 years, and we haven't lost a pailful yet. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, cause I 
As you go.